Hey, how's it going? Let's start off with some shout outs right away. A um, couple channels you should check out. Uh, first one is going to be Wooly's World. Again, that's Wooly's World. Um, he does some videos on like, um, you know, uh, outdoor clothing and so on and so forth. Uh, boots, um, as well as some other stuff too. Um, and he kind of reviews them and and gives you care tips and how you should take care of him and that kind of thing. Um, he does make me look bad sometimes because like he talks about care of boots and I don't do what I'm supposed to do with my boots sometimes. Um, and I don't always read the instructions, but that's an American thing and always from another country, so he knows better. Um, but anyways, no, check out his channel. Uh, he talks a little funny, uh, but I kind of like it, so um, check that channel out. Um, another channel to check out is uh, Real McCoy, um, and that is spelled R-E-E-L. Again, it's Real McCoy. Um, he did some logging. Now he runs a sawmill part-time. He used to run it full-time. I'm pretty sure he doesn't run it full-time anymore. Older gentleman. Um, it's like what I like to call an old-school sawmill. It's been repowered a, a couple times. He, he tells a lot of stories about growing up and the different things that went on. Um, and there's some, uh, there's a story in there about repowering the mill, um, with a new diesel engine, um, um, and, uh, just some different stories about things that went on. Um, I think it's a great channel, uh, especially if you're not, if you're, uh, not old school and you're new, um, to the business or, um, just a younger man, um, I think the guy has some wisdom in the stories he tells. Some of his stories are just entertaining, um, but I think he has some knowledge to him. Um, so I highly recommend his channel. Uh, again, that's uh, Real McCoy. Check that channel out. I think you'll like. Um, and now um, let's talk about let's talk about cold weather gear, um, and some of it actually is specifically called cold weather gear. Um, and I know a lot of people have been dealing with some really bitter temperatures. Um, I know the other day here I went out and did some work. I'm able to, to get back to work some um, and I've been working for other people. Um, you know, trying to get through the winter basically because I kind of, with the injury and everything else, I kind of, my business kind of went um, and, you know, things weren't lined up. And I'm not going to get into that whole thing, but, um, but anyway, uh, we're going to talk about some cold weather gear because I know a lot of you have been dealing with cold weather, myself included. Uh, the other day I had a wind chill factor of 39 below, but because of the gear I had on, I was able to keep warm. Uh, and we're going to talk about a little bit about this gear, not all of it because it'd be a long video. It's going to be long enough as it is. I know some of you are being tortured, but you know, you can always watch it in pieces. Uh, but anyways, uh, I'm going to make a series of videos. Um, First thing I'm going to want to talk about um, is uh, just a basic winter hat, um, for one thing. Um, I have a Carhartt. I love these things. Uh, this one happens to be bright orange. Um, and uh, these are inexpensive. I won't say they're cheap. I, d I, don't, I don't like the word cheap a lot because there's a difference between cheap and inexpensive to me. Um, these things will run you probably anywhere from six ninety nine to to ten bucks, um, so not bad. Uh, I know when I first started getting them, I could get them for like six ninety nine. This was a gift. Um, the nice thing about this being orange, and uh, please don't take offense to this if you're a hunter, because um, you know I, I think it's a hunting's a, a good thing. Um, but uh, some hunters, well, they're a little green. Um, and then some of them, sadly, are just totally irresponsible. Um, but uh, this hat <laughs> comes in handy when it's hunting season and, you know, the, the winter's starting to come and it's getting cold out and you need a hat because, you know, there are some hunters out there that they're a little trigger happy and they tend to shoot at things because they hear something move. Um, well, hopefully they see that you have an orange hat on and they think that's a, hmm, I don't think that's a deer or whatever else I'm hinting at because they don't wear orange. Uh, so let's hope they get that. 
um, but enough babble about that. Uh, the next thing I'm going to talk about is a um, a uh, clava uh, combo. Here it has a, both the hood and the face mask. Um, this is a serious model. Um, I believe I'm saying that right. I might not be. I apologize if I'm not. Uh, if someone it's pronounced some other way, just let me know in the comments. But of course, it's going to be typed in, so I'm not going to be able to. I'm not going to be able to uh, to tell what you're saying necessarily the pronunciation, but um, I am curious if I'm pronouncing it right. Um, but it's spelled S E I R U S. Uh, e M S happens to carry these. I don't know if other other outdoor uh, enthusiasts, sporting goods stores carry it, but they do. And these things, I, I love them. They're they're like thirty bucks, and I think they're worth every penny of it. No problem. Um, and you know this the part where you, it's covering your nose and your mouth and it has little holes in it is neoprene um, and then the other part is like almost like a it's either a fleece or like a fleece material um, and this cuts down more on like the moisture and nastiness uh, from breathing because it's made out of the neoprene and you can wipe it um, and all that good stuff um, so, uh, you know, when it's really cold out, I use this usually in combination with, um, with my hat, um, cause I still use my hat a lot of times cause sometimes this will bunch up a little bit and the air gets inside here and stuff. Um, and it just tends to keep your head a little warmer when you got both on. Um, so I'm not going to model all the the gear, uh, but for a gap, for uh, laughs and giggles, I'll put this on so you all have a good laugh, especially those people that don't live anywhere where it's cold. Uh, so, uh, anyways, it just goes on and it's over your face like this, and you know, over your nose, and you can breathe through here. Um, and you put your hat on, you know. Uh, wear it like so, and I mean, if you really wanted to, if it, you're getting really cold, you can bunch everything up, and it could be like that. Um, and uh, the other good thing about it is, if you're having a bad day at work, it's for you, those of you that are working the cold, you know how that can be, you know, you're working out there in cold, and everything's like, you can't do anything, and everything's breaking, and and then you, your equipment's gonna cost money to fix, and you know, man, I, I don't even know why I came to work today. But then you think to yourself, well, I, I have my uh, mask on here, and you go, I know what, I'll grab another tool, and I'll go to the bank and see about getting some money. Um, and they tend to give you money quickly when you walk in and you know you're ranting and raving and you're all upset and you're wearing this um, they tend to throw money at you um, so it's a good way to get a quick loan no in all serious don't don't go into the bank with your mask on I strongly recommend that you don't do that uh, not a good di idea at all I know you believe everything you see on YouTube but please don't go into the bank with your mask on okay not a good idea at all. All right, the next thing I'm going to talk about is some glove liners. Uh, again, I get these. I got these from EMS. Good glove liners, unfortunately, aren't always cheap or inexpensive. I should say. Again, I don't like the word cheap a lot of times because it insinuates cheap as in, you know, as in crappy sometimes, not just inexpensive. Um, and there are things that are inexpensive, but they're not cheap. Um, these are not inexpensive. They can tend to be a little pricey at times. Um, it's got like a neoprene material. These are actually are EMS um, Polartec liners, which are fairly thick when it comes to liners. Um, and uh, I believe these have moisture wicking, um, they're moisture wicking liners, so they wick the sweat away from your skin if you are sweating because you're a little too warm in them 
at a certain time and then you cool down and all that good stuff. Um, but if I remember correctly, I ended up paying like 30 bucks for these, which is a bit much for a glove one. It was more than my gloves actually cost. Um, so when it's really cold out, I use these and I put them on. Um, and then I use another product called Hot Hands. Um, and I put those right in here and put my other glove on top of it. Um, and let me tell you a little bit about these things called hot hands. Um, first of all, you want to get the right ones because they, they have all kinds of different hot hands, different levels and all this good stuff. Um, these are, you know, 18 hours of heat is, you know, up to 18 hours of heat is what they talk about on these. And I get the body hand super warmers is what I get. Um, and they're a little bit bigger than the regular glove warmers. Um, I find that they work well for me, um, especially if I gotta be out there all day, basically. Um, I'm not big, big on like, you know, they make like these heated socks and all this stuff. And I always think of that as kind of gimmicky and stuff like that. Um, and I kind of thought hot hands was the first and they're not. These things are, they're awesome. Especially if you have, I have poor circulation in my hands, I think. Um, I had a vein that got shut off into my arm years ago from an accident. And ever since then, you know, in cold weather, my hands would get cold easy. Um, so, uh, these work excellent. Uh, especially when I have to use a thinner glove for climbing, which we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but again, they're hot hands. I have no affiliation with this company. The other thing I'll tell you is a great place to get these is Walmart. Um, I like to get some things at Walmart and some things I don't like to get at Walmart. Um, there are just some things you don't buy at Walmart. But I think this is an excellent product to buy at Walmart. Um, and I can get them for, right now, I can get a whole package of them. A big package. And they come in all different shapes and sizes and packages. So you got to watch what you're look, looking at and find the right ones. But um, I can get these for, um, for five bucks. For you know, I think it's ten of them. So it means that I spend about a bucket. I spend a bucket a day for hand warmers, which I mean, that's less than a cup of coffee. It's definitely worth it. Um, and I put them, you know, I open them up in the morning. How these things work is they come in a big package, and they come in and then it's an individual package inside of this. Then you open this individual package, which already has like a little line that you can tear on, so you don't need to cut them. And if you're going to cut them, you got to cut them high so you don't cut your bag. But you can just tear them open because it's made to do that. Uh, and then I just kind of crumple them up, which you don't necessarily have to do. The air reacts to them. Uh, and then I put them on, and they're good for the whole day, the um, whole work day, because they're, they're the up to 18-hour ones. So do they last 18 hours? I don't think so, but they could. Um, so I use those in extreme cold. Um, and... These are my, my go-to winter work gloves. Um, and I get them from a company called uh, Gilton's, which I absolutely recommend you check that company out. They got all kinds of gloves and stuff there. Check them out. Excellent company to work with. Um, you know, service is pretty fast. Get things shipped pretty fast. And you can get good deals on, you know, gloves and I'm talking about including even when you add the shipping um, if you buy in you know, a little bit of volume and I'm not talking about buying 50 pairs of gloves these happen to come in a three pack um, and it's like $49.95 for a three pack of these um, that doesn't include shipping so you gotta add on the shipping but divide that up on three pairs um, and they are rugged um, they have leather on the outside these are Palominos um, and these ones are actually waterproof too and I'm not talking about um, water repellent on the outside I'm not talking about waterproof leather there's an actual membrane sandwiched in between um, and then there's insulation in there and you can stick these things you know up to water almost you know almost up to the top of this because you know there obviously it wicks and the water doesn't get in um, and they take quite a bit of abuse uh, eventually they'll break down. Sometimes you might even get rid of them because um, they don't really have holes in them, 
but the the fiber is all mat matted down inside, so the insulation property might be down a little. So you might you might or might not get rid of them. Um, you might just use them when it's a little bit warmer out, when it's not freezing cold out, um, because they do that. Um, but they take a long time to break down, um, and I, I believe a three pack should easily last you the winter, if not longer, uh, even with working outside. Now there might be some of you, there might be a situation where you rip one, like you did something really hardcore to rip it, which might have been an injury <laughs> on top of that, uh, but, but they're pretty rugged. Um, and these, the model number for these, because there's one that's similar, that's the same glove but doesn't have the waterproofing uh, in it, which I don't recommend you get those because the waterproofing isn't there. And I know you're just working with snow, um, but when it warms up, they can get wet um, because of that. Um, and it can seep through. Well, that won't happen uh, if you get the, the waterproof ones. You do have to worry about moisture wicking, which those will take care of it, the liners will somewhat um, in the extreme colds. Uh, but um, these, the model number is 2540. Uh, again, it's Gilton's, check them out. I have no affiliation with that company, but I love that company. Um, I think they're really good to their customers. Uh, we're going to talk a little more about them later on uh, in another video. But um, again, check them out. All right. And then when I'm climbing, when I have to climb a tree in the winter, um, I will use these gloves, which are a summer glove, and then I use my liner, and I use the heat pack in between. Um, and i got to have the grip. And these are Samson's. Um, I believe this is like three-quarter of the rubber coating or whatever. Um, I could probably find the model numbers for these at some point, but I buy them like at a tw in a 12 pack. Um, and basically, even with the shipping included, I think it comes to three something per set of gloves I'm pairing, uh, paying. Um, and a set of these gloves, will, they'll last longer than that, but you can easily get a week out of a pair and still have them be good uh, for climbing. Um, they're not made to last super long because um, it is a knit and then just a rubber coating, but they'll easily last a, a week of climbing. And um, for those of you that, I don't wear gloves, I mean, obviously, most of you wear them in the wintertime, but those of you that don't wear gloves, these things, from what I found, will grip a rope better than your bare hands will. And let me repeat that again, better than your bare hands will. Um, if you haven't used something like this, try especially wet rope. Um, if you've got a pair that fits right, they will. Um, I buy these in an extra large. Um, the sizes do run small. Um, I think I used to run a large from the summertime, um, but I, I don't even bother. I just run both winter and summer, and yeah, I could probably fit into a large, maybe, you know, squeeze into a large or whatever. Um, but, um, but I wear those when I get a climb and I can grab right a hold of the rope nicely with them. Um, so that's another glove that Galton's carries. Um, now we're going to talk about um, boots, um, which I get these boots at Cabela's and another great company. If you've never heard of them, um, wow. <laughs> but if you hadn't, there's a company called Cabela's. Check them out. Um, they have hunting stuff and everything else, and I'm not even into hunting. Um, I'm not against it either, but I'm not big on it. My family just never did it, so I never got into it. Um, I wouldn't mind doing it, though. Uh, anyways, um, Cabela's makes a Predator Extreme boot, and let me tell you, this will keep your feet warm in the dead of winter. Um, it's crazy how good they are. Um, I love them. I've never got cold feet in these things. Um, they have 1,200 grams of insulate, and they have this as 
the liner in it. Um, the liner is uh, the liner's got like a silver material in it, um, which is like odor resistant. Um, they've had it for several years. I don't know how old it is. There. Well, they're still somewhat odor resistant. Um, I don't know if you can see the silverish material. Um, it has a pocket in it to put a heat pack in. Body warmers. Um, I don't know why you'd want one of those. I mean, I've been out some pretty extreme temperatures and never got cold enough that I needed something like that. And I'm not using, I'm using just a regular run of the mill sock. I'm not even using a good wool or wool blended sock because um, I haven't had to, so I don't bother. Um, but that's not to mention that a lot of times those wool socks cost you know, 15 bucks a pair or something for the right wool blend sock. Um, which I don't think is necessarily bad, but it gets expensive at $15 dollars a pound a pair, and if you don't need them, which I haven't needed, but if you need them, different story. Um, still, I think it's a little pricey, but, but then again, you talk about a good quality sock, so. Um, there's that. Um, now we're going to talk about the base layer, which, um, as I've said before, I'm not modeling it for you um, for several reasons. Um, so we're not going there, so don't worry. I'm just going to show it to you. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you is uh, my top um, base layer. Um, has to be a level four. Um, Normally, I would have gotten a level three for extreme temperatures. I don't didn't necessarily need the four, even at the wind chill factor of 39 below. Um, but they were out of threes at the time I bought this. The sale going on, and for the same price, you could get the four. Um, so I got the four, and uh, I'll show you. I don't know if you can see this on camera, but um, it's almost like quilted inside. Those like their heat pockets, they trap the the heat from your body. Um, this garment does do some wicking to, you know, for perspiration, keeps it away from the skin, um, which is really important uh, when you start to heat up a little bit. Um, I use some lighter stuff for, for warmer temperatures, um, but this regulates pretty good, so you can use it, you know, when it's a little bit warmer. It is a base layer, so you don't really want this exposed where you're gonna be rubbing up against it, you know, with, you know, a piece of wood or whatever, you know, whatever you're working on. Um, I highly recommend that, you know, you get down to that level then you probably wanna to switch to something else. Um, I do do that sometimes. It gets, I get warm enough that I'm down to, you know, like I've got a short sleeve shirt over it, and, you know, but, um, but uh, these things are expensive. They're, um, I guess you can compare them to price-wise, you can compare it to some um, special underwear that people buy. But because this is a family channel, I'm not going to get into that. Um, you can pay up to $85 for this shirt. I don't think you ever will because you can always find it on sale, but that's the full retail, I think, is $85. Bucks. Um, that's a level four. Um, pretty much a level three will do, um, but I haven't had a level four, as I said. Um, and then my base layer pants, my underwear, okay, um, these are uh, uh, same material, this is a level 3, not a level 4, um, which is plenty, plenty warm enough, you know, I can't stress that enough, I was in that extreme cold and I was plenty warm enough, in fact, with these pants, with these, I should say, with these base layer underwear, I wear a pair of nylon insulated pants over them and that is it. Um, I don't have any need to wear anything more than that. Um, I have those and we'll get into those a little later on in the next video. Um, and I have like chap material in them too for saw resistance because of the type of work I do. But you can run them without them too. Um, these are, uh, they do run a little small, I think. So, w biggest thing you want to do with these is, is get the right size. You know, if you're ordering them online, you, 
you want to know you got the right size somehow or go to the store and check something out to make sure you've got the right fit um, before you go order them and then get them all the way to you if you got to order them if you don't have the advantage of having a place near you. Um, it's real pain in that you get, and a lot of people wear them even though they're too small because um, they stretch. These are not compression fit. Uh, these, I believe, these are the um, fitted. Yes, they are fitted, not compression fit. And also, uh, people use the compression fit when wrong. They get a size that's too small. Um, they'll run a medium when they should use a large because you can stretch them out and put them on. And you know, oh, I fit into, and it's their sizes run small. So don't be fooled about that um, because what you'll do is you'll wreck the shirt or the pair of pants because you're stretching it more than it needs to be and premature wear of it will happen because of it. Again, the pants are, you know, the, I keep saying pants, the, the, the uh, leggings are, uh, are not cheap either. Um, I think full detail is like 85 for these as well. You won't, you can find a deal and won't pay for Wheel, so you might not pay anywhere near it. There's some good sales at different times, but it seems like they're always on sale somewhere anyway, um, even during the cold months. Um, these things, um, they're best if washed by hand. You can wash them, wash them in the washing machine on gentle cycle, um, but it would be best to wash them by hand, and you definitely want to drip dry them. Um, do not you ruin them put them in the dryer for for sure and certain and it is better off if you hand wash them But they can be washed. Um, I have done it um, And uh, So um, These things are great. They're a little bit pricey, but they are the they are the best that I've found so far as far as a base layer um, For cold weather um, I'm not saying there isn't something out there that's better, um, but these are the best things I've found currently that I've tried. So I'm impressed with them. Um, the only issues I've ever really had with them is um, is sometimes once in a great while, and I think they probably even improved on it. But quality control, and it's just a it's just the idea of, you know, check the garment when you go to buy it to make sure there isn't a bunch, there isn't loose threads and so on and so forth on it. Um, you know, a stitch in time saves nine, so if you find that it has a loose thread, then, you know, deal with it then. Um, it may be, like, it may even be just such a little thing that you just need to sip it or just, you know, lightly, carefully burn a little bit off. Um, or you may just get another pair, you know, so you're not dealing with that. Um, but I did notice that about them is you have to watch for that. Um, although that's the, I think that's changed over the years recently. They're a little bit more vigilant about that. Not that it's bad, it's just that's the one thing I have noticed from time to time you have to watch out for. Um, but that's basically some of my cold weather gear. Um, and we'll leave it at that. And that stuff literally, um, I, I'm not joking with you. That and some of the other stuff they have can be the difference in saving your life if it's really cold out, um, you know, to stop you from freezing to death. Um, I only half joke when I say that because there is, there is definitely some truth to that. So I hope you found this information useful. Um, hopefully I'll get this video up soon. I know it's after the cold weather has actually started. So um, thanks for viewing and have a great evening or day or morning, whatever time I get this up.